So Chris Paul got waived, huh? That happened? Hmm. I wonder what the Suns are thinking there. You know, just, just think that he's uh, he's just got nothing left in the tank? Hmm. Oh, that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here for, for thoughts on the finals. Well... Let's get to it. Uh, Heat, they are down now. Uh, they are down 2-1 in this series to the Denver Nuggets, who went out there and beat the Heat today by a margin of 109-94. to Really tough offensive output for Miami today. They shot 37% from the field, and they watched history get done on them between uh, the two stars of the Denver Nuggets. Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic, who both had triple doubles, both had 30 point triple doubles, and Nikola Jokic had a 30 20 10 triple double, uh, a 32 point 21 rebound, 10 assist triple double to be exact, while Jamal Murray, 34 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. So, look, we'll dive into a lot of stuff in this game, um, but. Right off the bat. I mean, look, their two stars were unreal today. They were so good. They uh, they were top-notch. They did what two all-stars, two, uh, two monsters do when, yeah, I think the team, you know, to, to say their team seemed a little bit shook, a little bit rattled from, you know, that loss and, Based on some of the performances of most of their role guys today, I can't really say that that uh, that thought was wrong because I don't think that they got a ton of help today. But they were greatness today. You know, those two were were absolutely marvelous. And I gotta be honest with you, I actually thought that uh, Jamal Murray. I know that Jokic is gonna get all the flowers because he did something that you know no he's hit levels nobody really hit. But in a lot of ways, I really thought that Jamal Murray was even better than Nikola Jokic today because, like, it's not really fair, right? Like, Jamal Murray's a guard. He can't get 20 rebounds. You know, Jokic is bigger than everybody on the damn court. He should get 20 rebounds. So I'm not trying to be a hater on it. Like, congrats on the history. But I honestly felt like Jamal Murray was uh, was the bigger reason they uh, they won this game today, and I honestly thought that uh, the Heat treated him like they were more fe- fearful of him today. Uh, I think the game started off with Jamal Murray, and it kind of made the Jokic game, you know, a little, you know, a little bit easier. Um, you know, we had to help on Jamal. Um, you know, Jokic is going to get his. He's going to do him two times MVP. He knows how to play basketball. He's really talented. Sometimes, you like you said, he's going to do what he's going to do. Um, you know, 32, 10, and 21, it's pretty good numbers. You know, he's seven feet. They could do pretty much everything. <clears throat> um, but I think the, Jamal set the tone for their group. And, uh, you know, he was aggressive, assertive, and, you know, he, he set the tone. And uh, it made things a little bit easier for uh, Yoke. You know, their two-man game was amazing. The way they worked together was amazing. Their chemistry is great. And... It was a hell of a response for them to go into Miami. Thought the atmosphere was awesome today. I, I will say on a positive note, first uh, time in nine years that the finals has been in Miami. Um, man, crowd was awesome. It was on fire. And in fact, I really thought, honestly, Jamal Murray, he had a three today. It was in the second quarter. I thought the building was like just it was it was on edge today man it was it was really really cool and there was a uh the heat were going on this run in the uh in the second quarter where Kayla Martin was uh was really getting it going Kayla Martin and Kyle Lowry were really getting it going Kayla Martin was hitting he had uh, he had back to back threes then Kyle had uh had ripped Jokic and Caleb got a reverse layup, and the building was on fire, dude. It really was. And the immediate response to that late in the shot clock was Murray hitting a three. And I was like, whoa, that dude's not robbing at all today. Because I'm saying, like, that building has been loud. I mean, the Jimmy 56, the Boston games, it's been super tense. That was as loud as I had heard the building uh, during this postseason run was, was on that little Caleb Martin stretch there where he was basically just doing everything and 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 just going absolutely berserk with hitting the threes and all that 
But Jamal Murray, I mean, he wasn't he wasn't rattled in the least. He was completely cool, hit his shots, and responded in a big way with a step back three, and that brought the uh, that brought the uh, the. I don't remember. It was uh, it was either the Nuggets were up. It was it was it brought the Nuggets within one, and uh, that was just I was like, man, that was ice cold. Like just because that could be a run where you like really catapult yourself into something, and they just uh, that was probably I would say the best the Heat had felt all game. Um, they go down at halftime, and I think honestly I don't think I don't I'm thinking about that moment. After that, they get to with a one. They tie. And I don't even know if the Nuggets. I think that maybe the Heat had the lead like maybe one more time at that point, but it was uh, it was a really great response. They were both uh, their stars were fantastic today, and on the Heat's end of things, like you know, Jimmy had kind of a uh, had a very herky jerky first half. He was uh, not very efficient. He was throwing up a lot of shots, missing a lot of stuff at the rim. He uh, he made up for it with a really really strong third quarter, where he was kind of willing the heat along. It was one of those patented like nobody has anything going, so Jimmy's kind of doing everything. Like he there was one play in the third quarter, Jimmy actually I think had a bad turnover to Murray, which ended up being an easy basket for uh, for Denver, and the Heat called timeout. I think they went down like eight or something like that, and. Right out of the timeout, Jimmy. It was actually worse than that. Oh, it was a, uh, it was a turnover by it, and it was like an easy pass to Jamal Murray. Put him down eleven, and spoke all timeout. And Jimmy like started going on a run after that. Like he just started scoring at will on everything, and and trying to like get guys involved. And in fact, I think in that quarter, I think Miami scored twenty points, and Jimmy scored twelve. And he assisted five. The only points that he wasn't involved with was a Kyle Lowry dish to Duncan Robinson. So nobody showed up in that third quarter. It was, it was quite frankly, the turdiest. It was not good. It was not a good performance there for Miami. And I thought that, you know, Bam was decent today. I mean, like, you know, I look at his numbers today and I thought, like, was, again, he was aggressive. All this idea, like, Bama has definitely not been scared to shoot. Bama has uh, has gone out into each one of these games, and he is uh, he had really tried to live by himself. And in the first half of this game, Bam put himself in a spot where he was five of twelve. He had thirty points, ten rebounds, um, and I thought in the second half, like just couldn't get that jumper to, to go like he had, like he had been going but you know still got to the free throw line a good amount of times and you finish with the game you go you go 22 and 17 I think today was his final numbers it's a good performance I think Jimmy and Bam like you look at your start you're like yeah those are good games but Murray and Joker had great games because like their role guys didn't really show up either you know, it was other than Christian Brown, who went on an insane run at the end of the fourth quarter or at the uh, the start of the fourth quarter to really, I kind of put the honestly put the dagger in the game for Miami. He was uh, he was going absolutely bad. He was like ripping the heat. He was tomahawk dunking on him. He uh, got an and one on Jimmy. Uh, Christian Brown went berserk for Denver and uh, like, almost like Caleb Martin esque. And he's been a I will say. Christian Brown's been an absolute menace in this series for Denver. Every single time he's brought great energy, um, you know, not to go on, you know, intangibles on him, but guy's been a killer. He's been uh, he's been absolutely up for the for the challenge. And I would say for Miami, they didn't have really one guy today outside of Jimmy and Bam who brought that outside of that Caleb Martin run that I just mentioned. But after it got snuffed out, I'm like, I, you, you, I couldn't really think to anything, you know, outside of Duncan Robinson kind of giving uh, Denver the squeaky cheeks at the end, <laughs> bringing it to within nine with a three with his three point barrage, his patented Duncan Robinson three point barrage. Um, you know, the rest of the bench not great today. Gabe Vincent gave you two for ten today. Um, he also is seemingly really upset Tony Brothers. I don't know what Gabe Vincent did to Tony Brothers, but Tony Brothers, seemingly if he existed near Jokic or Murray, Tony Brothers was calling a foul on Gabe Vincent. 
I don't know what that was, dude. I don't know uh, what Gabe said, did the smug look. Maybe he doesn't like his memes. I don't know what it was, dude, but uh, Tony Brothers was was calling everything on Gabe Vincent tonight. He had no shot. Um, Max Struess, poor shooting night, you know, weirdly got a lot of assists early on. Like, he was fine. Usually, it's uh, people finding Max Struess. He, oddly enough, was, like, finding everybody for assists early in this game. Um, but, you know, did not have a uh, a keen shooting game. He was 1-7 of from the field, 1-4 of from downtown. Um. That was another thing that was odd about this this uh, this game by Denver is like they uh, they were so comfortable scoring in the paint that was an absolute bludgeoning in the point uh, points in the paint like sixty tonight they gave to them they only had five threes they only had five threes and the only guy not named Murray or Jokic to hit one was Bruce Brown because Murray hit three of them from downtown so he had three of their five threes on the night tonight. Um, crazy crazy it was uh, it was a wild thing to see you know Miami got up a lot more shots and that was another thing with like the whole rebounding thing like Jokic is out there and he's grabbing all the rebounds like a like a like a vacuum but like there were a lot of them to have because Miami was just whoo whoo the way they were shooting today so that was a bummer that was a bummer with uh with that idea Spo was really upset after the game with the uh, the lack of hustle plays, losing the 50-50 balls. Uh, he dropped an identity on us, which I feel like had been a... Uh, that, that was a vintage spell. I haven't heard that one in a while. Um, you know, I, I just think sometimes when, for, for us, you know, when we lose a lot of those physical battles, you know, the effort plays, the loose balls, you know, the rebounding battles, uh, that's our identity. Um, and, and sometimes that can... Uh, affect the flow of the rest of your game. Uh, that's not an excuse. Um, you know, I think the the thing that we've proven over and over and over is we can win and find different ways to win, regardless of whether we have confidence, regardless of whether the ball's going in. We have a a, a, a determination um, to impact the game uh, and and find a different solution or a different way to win a game regardless of whether the ball's going in uh, you know it felt like at times you know some of those missed shots at, at the rim or in the paint the makeable shots that we've made you know the last several months or weeks uh, that that affected a little bit of our um, whatever going down the other end um, and that hasn't happened you know a, a lot uh, I do want to get to the film because I'm not totally sure about that it just it felt like that um you know we're at best when when we're winning those battles first so you can just check that box the physical battles 50 50s ball in the air ball on the floor um we win those battles we figure everything else out uh, along the way i think the biggest thing that is a disappointment from this one d wade was in the building tonight first time i can remember ever that they have lost with a with a D Wade homecoming game. He is uh, usually the uh, you know you don't lose with D Wade in the building, so they lost with D Wade in the building tonight, which is disappointing. I will say, I never go on this with the uh, Heat game ops because they do a fantastic job. However, however, felt like we used the D Wade bullet too early. Okay, crowd was already on fire. You had a tie game, second quarter, uh, first quarter. They go to D Wade immediately out of the uh out of the break to start the second quarter. They go right to D Wade. I would have I would have held that one in the holster a little bit. I would have used that for I'll tell you the exact spot I would have used D Wade. All right. It was let's see. Third quarter, you know, little run ski. He probably like you know where I would have used it exactly. I would have used it at the uh, the timeout where they go down eleven. That's where I go to D Wade. That's where I go to D Wade if I'm if I'm game ops. I just felt like keep that one in the holster, dude. You know, D Wade. It's great. Like it's a safe. Like we use D Wade in a safe place for the jumbotron. But I felt like crowd was already hot. It was already in a spot where like all right, we were, you know people already 
seemed like they were to the gills and uh, and were in a, in a in a revved up place. I felt like the D Wade card could have been played a little bit later. Was say though, D Wade and Mike McDaniel caught them uh, from the uh, from my from my seat today at the finals, uh, having a little chatsky at halftime. So that was cool. That was that was kind of goosies. It was uh, definitely one of the goosiest moments of the night. That's for sure. Uh, I did see the video of D Wade and then Pat Riley seeing each other. Ah, oh, that made me happy. Love you, D Wade, the best. Anyway, as far as the Heat's are concerned, I would say out of this, look, they need to get. Um, they need the Miami Heat have had success. They got to be really good from downtown. Um, I would say that you know, and if they don't, I think that we got to see if Bam and Jimmy can have a a heavier score and volume game. Like they need to be just a little bit more efficient. Like I said, I thought that Jimmy was good today, especially in that third quarter um, when things were, were really starting to break down. I thought that he kind of kept the heat in it. It just got away from them. You know, it, it just got away from them. I thought that uh, both him and Bam had some, had some good looks at the rim. They were going at Jokic, but you know, just, kind of missed some and they the 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 nuggets made them pay in a lot of those spots so you know gotta gotta look up and down and say like hey you know next game does you know caleb had some moments in this game but not we still haven't really seen that eastern conference finals caleb martin um kevin love you know kind of ineffective today after a really good game two for miami I think his biggest play was like taking a charge. Um, you know, did they just needed more from their starting lineup today in general? Like Max needs a big bounce back game. Caleb uh, or Gabe Vincent, excuse me, hopefully doesn't have a, a referee who has it in for him this next time around, and that'll help out. And then it's impossible not to look at the next game and then wonder about the Tyler Hero question. It still does loom. Um, if you uh, didn't, this was uh, what Spo said. He said he's got a full contact workout scheduled for Thursday, um, which is technically what it is right now. So later today. And I guess they'll see how that goes. I mean, like, in theory, a healthy Tyler Hero, that would have been just what the doctor ordered today for Miami in a lot of ways. But again, you just don't know. Like, you don't know what you're going to get from Tyler, but you know, does this put him in a spot where like, is Tyler now thinking to himself, all right, maybe I'm not rocking. Cause I know that like, that was a thing. Like he's got concerns about that. If that was a concern goes back to the, to, to Gogi's point when we spoke to him, all hands on deck after a game like this, where it's basically your, you got good games from Jimmy and Bam and no, nothing from really anybody else. This is one of those where it's like, all right, maybe we get a little something from Tyler here. Let's see. Let, maybe we just, maybe you just, try, if, if he is medically cleared, obviously, I don't want Tyler to really push through anything that's that's too painful. I don't want it. I don't want a situation like the end of last year in the Easter College Finals where like they played him, but it's very clear that he still wasn't ready to go. Um, I want this to be a situation where when he comes back, like he can actually provide some punch for this series. Um, and I think for Miami also, you know, you knew that Denver was going to adjust a couple things. Like I think they tightened up on their coverages on the three point shots. Miami got, there weren't as many just wide open, easy looks that Miami got. I think that they uh, did a much better job at like staying at home and, you know, making Jimmy Butler worked the shot clock and and not really getting as as quality looks as Miami had gotten. So credit to them. They made a lot of adjustments defensively. They, they were really, really good today. And, you know, I thought, interestingly enough, they like a lot of like possessions where Bam was on Jamal Murray, where he was trying to take him out, which in, in line put somebody small on Jokic, which allowed for second chance points or offensive rebounds or Possession's not dying, or maybe Jamal Murray was just sinking some threes in, in Bam's face, too. Like, he was really great today. They were both fantastic, but um, I do think that Miami's, you know, they got the counterpunch. They got the adjustments, the big adjustment. I think that there, there were some technical adjustments, but I think mostly it was their adjustment was their stars play like stars. 
And, um, you know, Miami's going to need a big swing back because down to one in your building. It's uh, it's about as must win in a series as it gets. If you have hopes of making this a long series and getting to my original prediction, which was heat and six. Um, yeah, the heat need Friday for sure. Need need Friday for sure. But uh, still a goosey's atmosphere. Still was cool to be there and looking forward to being there in a couple days.